Hey guys, today I wanted to hop on and talk about how to fight burnout and overwhelm. So as you guys are joining today, leave me a comment below letting me know if you as a musician, piano player, someone serving in ministry, um, have ever felt burned out and overwhelmed. If you're being honest with yourself and with us today, you're going to say yes, because we all have. We've all been there. So I want to share just a few tips that I have from my experience on how to help. Okay? First of all, I would love to know where you guys are joining from, how you serve in your local church, if you play, if you sing, if you want to play, what your current desire is and your role is. I'd love to know that and get to meet you guys. Um, okay, so the first recommendation that I have for you is to get rest. Now, don't tune me out. I'm not talking about getting sleep. <laughs> Even though sleep is very important. Can I get an amen? Yes. Loud and clear. Sleep is very important. When I talk about rest, um, I've been paying attention to the things in my personal life that keep me distracted and keep me drained. It's very easy for me to grab my phone and get on Instagram. And before you tune me out about that, let me just say, um, in our business, we study social media, how social media works, and Instagram is actually designed to be addictive. So if you feel like, man, you know, people always say, don't get on Instagram, but I like it, you enjoy it, that's fine, I do too. Um, but it does wear down your emotional battery. So sometimes, I don't know if they're going to get me for this because I'm actually saying this on Instagram. <laughs> um, sometimes you can delete the app because what rest means is that you're resting your emotions. You are resting your physical energy, your mental energy. So giving space in your life to do something that actually pours back into you instead of draining you. So instead of maybe getting on social media or engaging in a um, war on Facebook or a text message group that is just nonstop, um, maybe put your hands in the dirt. Some people love to plant and some people love plants. I'm turning into one of those, although I can't say I enjoy the process of planting. I do love having my plants. Um, and some of them are dying. <laughs> so I probably need to get new ones at this point. Um, there are other ways that you can relax. Maybe relaxing is a, a more versatile, universal word that we all understand. Um, by taking time to be outside. By uh, I love hiking. It's one of my things I love to do, going to the beach. Anything like that that kind of unplugs you from the things that are putting pressure on you and re-energizes you. So that's what I am referring to when I talk about getting rest. The second thing, this is a fun tip, is to find inspiration, okay? This is gonna be an interactive um, video today. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments, where do you find inspiration? What accounts do you follow? Or what people do you follow? What businesses do you follow that you find inspiration? either on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I have some friends who are musicians. Jordan Gassande is one. He's an incredible musician. Um, Elijah Garrick is fun to follow. Um, I like to follow Aaron Barbosa. He's super inspirational. Sometimes I wish I could play like him. Um, Kurt and Colton and the Convo, they post a lot of music stuff. Um, I think Little Rock First Pentecostal Church, they have an Instagram, don't they? Their music department does, has an Instagram. I think I've seen some, something on Instagram like that. James Wilson, yes. Brittany Scott, that's a good account to follow to find music inspiration. Any other accounts that you guys like to follow? Okay. Um, or, I mean, you can do other things besides social media. You can um, listen to music. Music to me is very inspirational. If I find a new artist, 
Um, I love Liz Weiss. She has some jazzy kind of gospel stuff. Um, Heather Headley is a good artist who, um, she has a Christian album that's really nice. Her voice is kind of more like, uh, more Celine Dion vibes. Some of her tone is that way. Um, Caleb Collins has a good, uh, hymns album and it's more jazzy. So if you're into the old jazz, like, like Frank Sinatra, Michael Buble stuff, you would love that Caleb Collins, Collins album. It's really good. Um, and let's see, that's all I can think of for now. So just start finding inspiration that will help you get inspired. Isn't that profound? <laughs> and then the next thing is to have fun with your gift and the way that you do that. Okay. James says the camera isn't flipped to make it look correct. Correct. It's because I have a shirt on that you're supposed to be able to read. Just forget the shirts <laughs> to read. Um, have fun with your gifts. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just sit down and play for fun. And I like to play songs that I already know. And sometimes these moments right here are necessary to pour back into ourselves because as a musician, if you're giving, 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 giving all the time and you're never pouring back into yourself, then you're going to run dry, you're going to run empty, you're going to feel burned out and overwhelmed, right? Hey, Heather. Hi, my friend. Hey, you guys. Um, so those are the tips that I have for you. Thank you so much for sharing that with someone that you... Uh, thought would benefit from that. If you have never been discouraged and overwhelmed, you will get there one day. <laughs> we all do. And it's nice to know because once you hit the point where you feel a little burned out and overwhelmed, you can know that this isn't me. This isn't a sign from God telling me that I need to stop and quit. This is just my body telling me that there are things I need to do 
to recharge just like your phone needs to recharge. To me, that's always an easy um, thing for my mind to, to wrap my mind around is the idea that my phone has to charge and so do I. It's that basic. So, I hope this encourages you today. If you want more inspiration, you can hop on over to the Tune Back Piano Lessons YouTube channel. Yes, you can subscribe there. Follow us. Um, we post videos or I post videos. My team helps with that, so that's why I say we. Every week, inspirational videos, encouragement videos, tips and tricks on how you can play better. And if nobody's told you today, I believe in you. You have what it takes to be an incredible musician. That's why you showed up here today, right, Lauren? Yes, because you want to play the piano better. And I'm so proud of you for that. So I will see you guys later. Encourage somebody today. Send an encouraging text to someone on your team. That always goes far. It's a great benefit to encourage your music teams.